Russian President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday announced a partial military mobilization in Russia calling up 300,000 reservists in a major escalation of his aggressive invasion of Ukraine, which he described as a fight to the death with the US and NATO, putting the country's people and economy on a wartime footing. As Russia moved to annex occupied Ukrainian territory, Putin also renewed his warning of a nuclear threat. When the territorial integrity of our country is threatened, we will certainly use all the means of our disposal to protect Russia and our people he said in a televised national address Wednesday. This is not a bluff. Seeing NATO expansion toward Russia's border, Putin said the West was plotting to destroy his country, engaging in a nuclear blackmail by elegantly discussing the potential use of nuclear weapons against Moscow and accused the United States, the European Union and Britain of encouraging Ukraine to push military operation into Russia itself. Putin's latest warning came after Ukrainian counteroffensive in the last few weeks dealt his troops their worst defeats since the early month of the conflict, retaking more than 10% of the territory that Russia held. Putin is betting that by increasing the risk of a direct confrontation between the US, which is the lead NATO military alliance, and Russia, a step toward World War III, the West will stop its support for Ukraine, something it has no sign of doing so far. Hi, my name is Gio, hope you're doing well. In today's episode, let's take a look at the partial mobilization in Russia, referendums and annexation in the control area by Russian troops in Ukraine, and how it is affecting the world. Let's get right into it. What is a partial mobilization? Putin signed a degree on a partially mobilizing Russia's reserve, arguing that Russian soldiers were effectively facing the full force of the collectively West, which has been supplying Kiev's forces with the advanced weapons, training and intelligence. Speaking shortly after Putin, the defense minister said that Russia would draft some 300,000 additional personnel out of some 25 million potentially fighters at Moscow's disposal. The mobilization, the first since the Soviet Union battle in the World War II, begins immediately. The draft announced by Moscow could scare the Russian public because most Russian men of military age are legally considered reservists because a year of military services is a requirement for men between 18 to 27 years old. Even if the defense minister has said that only those with prior military experience are eligible to be drafted, some ordinary Russians fear that there could be broader conscription on the horizon. A partial mobilization is a hazy concept, but it could mean that Russian businesses and citizens have to contribute more to the war effort. Russia has not yet declared war on Ukraine, despite having invaded in February and it's called its invasion a special military operation. Panic spread it among military-age Russian men immediately after Putin's speech. Most flight tickets out of the country were sold in a few hours and a massive traffic jam formed on the Russian-Finland border because of the Russian men trying to leave the country. This indicates that by ordering even a partial mobilization, Putin apparently crossed a sensitive threshold for the population. The reason is that until this point, the war did not affect it, uh, most Russian directly, but only those fighting in Ukraine, professional or contracted soldiers, law enforcement, mercenaries, and their families. However, from now on, a much larger number of Russians will be directly affected by the war, regardless of whether they support the special military operation or not. Voluntary involvement is being replaced. It is too early to judge how large and how lasting the negative public reaction to mobilization will be beyond the attempt to leave Russia and some initial protests. However, it is certain that uh, this decision could undermine the core foundation of Putin's regime if a large number of reservists are killed in combat. Referendums and Annexation Putin gave his uh, explicit support to referendums that will be held in uh, coming days in parts of Ukraine controlled by Russian troops. The first step to formal annexation of a portion of Ukraine the size of Hungary. The self-styled Donetsk and the Luhansk People's Republic, which Putin recognized as independent just before the invasion, and Russian installed officials in the Kherson and Zaporozhye region have asked for votes. 
we will support the decision on their future, which will be made by the majority of residents in the Donetsk and Luhansk People Republics, Zaporozhye and Kherson, Putin said. We cannot have a moral right to hand over people close to us to the executioners. We cannot but respond to their sincere desire to determine their own fate. That led to a formal annexation of about 15% of Ukrainian territory. What's the significance of referendum and annexation? If Russia goes ahead with a referendum and joins all four regions to Russia, the Ukrainian and its uh, Western backers too, would, from a Russian perspective, be fighting against Russia itself. That would raise the risk of a direct military conflict between Russia and NATO military alliance, a scenario that President Joe Biden has said could lead to World War III because NATO members are supplying arms and giving intelligence to Ukraine. As such, a rushed Russian move to formally annex another big piece of Ukraine territory would be a major escalation just days after potentially the most significant Russian defeat of the war in northeastern Ukraine. Russia's nuclear doctrine allows the use of a such weapons if it attacked with nuclear or other weapons of mass destruction or if the Russian state faced an existential threat from uh, conventional weapons. What does Ukraine say? Ukraine said that the threat of referendum was naive blackmail and a sign Russia was running scared. This is what the fear of defeat looked like, said the chief of staff to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Ukrainian says it will not rest until every Russian soldier is ejected from its territory and it will never accept Russian control over its territory and has called on the West to supply more and better arms to fight Russia forces. How will the partial mobilization affect the war? Mobilizing reserve is a lengthy and resource-heavily process, meaning there is unlikely to be any immediate impact on the battlefield according to the analysts. The war is clearly not going according to Russian scenario and therefore required Putin to make extremely unpopular decision to mobilize and severely restrict the rights of people. I don't see how Russia can make uh, brand new units of called up uh, reservists with uh, battalions worth of uh, functioning equipment that's process that will take uh, multiple months. Even when such units are ready, Russia will likely only be able to deploy them to perform a relatively simple tasks like holding defense position and they are unlikely to change Russian uh, chances of capturing the wall of eastern Ukrainian Donbass. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you find this content helpful, please subscribe to my channel because it helps me a lot. Turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video and check out all the links in the description down below. See you in the next video. Stay safe.